The Labor Day weekend turned deadly in parts of Cedar Rapids. About 10.30 last night, police responded to the area near the 300 block of 16th Street Southeast. That is where they found 15-year-old Aaron Richardson. They saying that he was at a home and he'd been there saying he was shot. The young man was taken to St. Luke's Hospital where he died as doctors were performing surgery. Now police are looking for a suspect. CBS 2 News reporter Dora Miller joins us live from the neighborhood tonight with how neighbors are dealing with this loss. Dora. Well, Joy, you're absolutely right. Richardson was looking for help when he stumbled in front of the house behind me with a gunshot wound. Tonight, a memorial is in that spot and a candlelight vigil was held to remember him. You folks just cannot continue to shoot people or kill people. The kids' lives matter. A cry for help after 15-year-old Aaron Richardson was shot and killed. Sitting here watching this kid bleed last night, it's not a joyful thing. It was very painful to see this young man bleeding and throwing up blood. It's, I'm still ain't all together, but I'm tired. People going to miss him a lot, especially his sister and his family. People don't understand what they took. He has a whole family, little sisters and stuff that's asking, like, why he's not there. Instead, a memorial sits in the spot the high schooler was found on Sunday night. He always cracked jokes. He always had you laughing. Like, even if he had a bad day, he was just still, like, always, you know, smiling, you know, walking around goofy. He's crazy. Got the most contagious laugh ever. Oh, it really doesn't feel real to me yet. I think it's going to hit me when he goes, when I see him going under the ground. Sadness and frustration filled the streets as community members and police pieced together events. It angers me, uh, makes me more outraged. Uh, here, a 15-year-old child has lost his life. His whole life is ahead of him. And my concern is there's been a lot of shooting in this neighborhood. And my question is this, if anybody know who the shooter is, please call Cedar Rapids Police Department or contact me personally. Police say they are getting more cooperation from the public in this case, but if you do have any additional information, they urge you to give them a call or stop by. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Dora Miller, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.